Hello wonderful world, it is February 2019. I have woken up and this place is covered in snow. So beautiful, so so beautiful. And I am back and everything that I wanted to tell you in this video has already been said. So I'm gonna throw it back to me in Italy about exactly one year ago, I think. Um, Cause I got something to say, here it is. Hey everyone, so this is Elia, and he is hey. on his way to just cycle around Europe, right? Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> so on his bike, he has everything he needs to survive. Yeah, this is my house. <laughs> Here I have my tent, and uh, on the back I have my sleeping mat, sleeping mat, sleeping bag, uh, my solar chargeable. Uh, my food, food, uh, and uh, everything uh, to survive, you know? <laughs> and uh, kitchen stuff, like this, uh, I don't know how to say in English, um, but inside there is petrol. Either. Yeah, gas, gas, gas stove yeah. thing. Yeah. And uh, that's it. So this is awesome, somebody just out on an epic adventure, going to follow their dreams and see the world. Yeah, that's easy. Slowly, slowly, you can go everywhere. <laughs> the perfect motto. Wow, so that guy, Elia, like we said, was off on an epic adventure. He quit his job and he's chasing his dream, which is to cycle around Europe. He's three days in, so fresh start, but, um, yeah, how inspiring. I'm so inspired by that. And I hope it makes some of you think about what your dream is. What could you be doing if there were no limitations? If you could do anything you wanted, what would it be? Put it down in the comments below. I want to hear it. I would love to play my part in making this place a better world. And I think it can start from people just like you following your dreams. When you're doing the thing that you love, you can't help but inspire others and be inspired. So what are you waiting for? Figure it out and then go get it. What is it that gets you excited that you can do for hours and you feel tired but not like exhausted, you feel great about doing it? What do you enjoy more than anything else? What is it that you can do and you think, God, I could do this for days. I could do it forever. That's the thing you should be doing. Everybody has a gift. Everybody's got a talent and everybody has something that they love and if you can put all three together Combine them in a way that serves the world and serves others Then you're making this a better world to live in And I know some people will think oh, this is so soppy go follow your dreams do what you love blah 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 But seriously, there's something so so honest about it when you're living your true self when you're being exactly who you are and who you want to be there's no stopping you and you don't care what other people think you could even walk around the park filming yourself and uh, you just don't care because there's a bigger purpose at hand and that's what's important it's not about you necessarily it's about what you can do for the planet and for the people and for the animals around you. You can make a difference. You will make a difference if you make the changes that are necessary to be the difference. When I was a kid, all that I knew was that I wanted to be a professional athlete or a vet because I loved animals and I loved sport. But then I realized that vets don't have the greatest job in the world. I mean, a lot of it is dealing with dead or injured animals, dead, dying, or injured animals. But being an athlete was totally in my control. There were so many times where that dream felt like it was gonna be far from a reality, but it was all I wanted to do. So I didn't consider doing anything else because 
nothing else I knew would bring me an, as much joy as being an athlete and using my body in the ways that I know it's possible to. So every kid has a dream and I think that dream is quite pure. It's I mean a lot might not actually know that what they want to become exists. You know, they might not have been introduced to this whole realm of things that they absolutely love and enjoy. But for the most part, we intuitively know what we are destined to become. So long as we don't let society break us down, which too often it does. And in this world, I see a lot of suffering. I see people suffering, I see animals suffering, and I see the earth suffering. So my aim here is to try and reduce that suffering. And a big part of who I am is waking up each day and doing my best to cause the least harm as possible. And that's why some of you may know that I adopted a vegan lifestyle not that long ago. Well, three years ago. And for those who aren't sure, that means that I no longer partake in using abusing or killing animals for my pleasure so that could be a taste pleasure it could be a fashion pleasure it could be a I don't know the ways that we use animals in all different all different parts of life is just so unnecessary and cruel that we we just simply don't have to we can buy clothes that are good for the planet and didn't involve any suffering. We can eat food that grows naturally and produces less waste and doesn't cause as much suffering as directly killing an animal for us to eat. And so when I wake up in the morning, I attempt to cause the least harm possible. And sometimes all that involves is three or four times a day not consuming any animal products and by doing that I'm helping the planet I'm helping the animals and I'm helping myself because I feel so much better physically mentally and emotionally by not doing that so I'm not here to urge you to go vegan but I'm not gonna pretend that I'm not just to please certain audiences it's a big part of who I am and what I'm about and yeah, I think it's a really healthy and positive way of living and I would encourage others to look into it more. Yeah, because as I said in my first video, this vlog or <laughs> whatever you call this, this is me and my journey in trying to become not just a better footballer, but yes, definitely I want to become a better footballer, of course but also a better person and I want to help inspire others to live better lives so that together we can make this world better and, and be a positive change in creating less suffering. More contentness and less suffering. That's pretty much it. That's what I'm about. I want to bring love and life and happiness and laughter all that good stuff but also not hiding from the other stuff because it's a reality and it's something that all humans have to face it's all part of the human experience you know it's we can't pretend that we're not where we're at we find ourselves in this part of human history and it's an interesting time never before have we had more access to information but also never before have we been so confused well I can't really say that for sure but there's so much information that it can get quite confusing out there so I'm here and I'm seeking truth I'm seeking adventure I'm seeking life I'm seeking love and Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know anybody who really does. So, 
let's figure it out together. These, I keep doing love, but I only have one hand. I should probably mention that Elia, the guy on the bike that I just met, he's only 24 years old and he's already off on his big epic adventure. And I think it's just, it's fitting to say don't wait until you're old. Don't live to work so that you can retire when you're 60 and then have a life. Like, <laughs> you're young, you're ambitious, you're free in a sense if you want to be. But you have to be brave enough to step outside of society's expectations and go and get what you want. Go get it. Like, it's not going to come to you unless you're out chasing it. For me, it's just like, I, I'm not too sure what you're doing, how you're living, if you're not off chasing your dreams. What else is the point to life? Go make a difference. Make a real difference. Live your life with passion and enthusiasm. Make this world a better place. I hope I can, and I hope you can too. Good luck.